We're here this evening with the Wexford ladies football team as they prepare to take on Loud in the Leinster Junior Final. How have preparations been going for you? Our preparations have gone well. Leona were um, trained well, um, had three or four really good practice matches. Um, we're um, very young, very inexperienced, but um, you know we're ready for the task. When you know, um, I'm sure Loud. Um, we've played them a few times over the last number of years, and I'm, I'm sure they are up for it as much as we are. But we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we've we've introduced a lot of youth into the team, and and it's a whole new setup. And you know, and we can only we're in a rebuilding phase in Wexford, but there's there's great results from the from the league during the year. Yeah, we lost a, a lot of our. Um, experienced players last year you know and um we we tried out 46 different players in the league and you know we, we we've now whittled it down to 30 so in the early part of the league you know we, we gave everybody a chance so our results weren't great but as we found our feet you know the results improved and we, we finished really really strong and we were we we're looking not to um get to the knockout stages you know with a good win against Offaly, a good win against leitrim drew with Longford and we were unlucky against Sligo, we lost by a couple of points, uh, a win would probably go through, you know. So we're very, very happy. I mean, the, the girls are young, inexperienced, but, you know, they're, they're willing to learn and they're, they're growing into the task and we're looking forward to the game. Katrina, you're facing into another Leinster final on Sunday where you take on the Loud uh, team. Uh, how are you feeling heading into this game? Yes, Leon, we're very confident uh, in the game. Uh, we are well prepared and we can't wait to put up a good fight. Good. The junior championship has been reduced down to few teams in it this year. Um, you know, do you think that that has affected your preparations? No, not at all. We were well prepared, and we have got a good uh, amount of practice games as well uh, to prepare for the game. So we're well uh, prepared, and can't wait for the challenge. Um, and just in relation to Loud, we played them last year in the championship, and uh, it was in Wexford Park, and we went to extra time. Yeah. Do we know anything about the current Loud setup, or, or what sort of a team, or how they've progressed this year? Um, well, as far as I know, they're just as hungry as they were last year. Um, I think they're coming back for vengeance. I'm sure they are, like very determined to get one up on us this year, as we beat them twice in replays last year. So, but we're just as determined, and I'm really looking forward to it now. And it will be interesting because I don't know how many changes they've made, or have they made much changes since last year but we've changed a lot so it will be interesting to see what's going to happen. Clara what's the team spirit like heading into the match on Sunday? Um, everyone seems very happy you now we're not silly we know we don't know much about Lau but we did play them three times last year true twice we know it's not going to be easy there is a lot of changes in our panel this year um, we lost a lot of our good players from last year and we've gained a lot of youth but it seems to be going good we had our bonding weekend last weekend and everyone seems very positive. Yeah. It was good to see Mary Rose back after the soccer, um, so I suppose she's a, a bonus and an addition to the team again. Oh yeah, she's a great asset to have back and it's a good boost for the panel as well to see her coming back right before the Leinster final. Yeah, eight of the girls um, will make their championship debut on, on, on Sunday and you know, while they're inexperienced, they're not going to be experienced uh, on the bench, so we'll, we're throwing them in and, and we'll try and build towards the championship later on. Fiona, as one of the new newbies on the team or into the panel this year, like how have you found the experience so far? It's been a great experience so far in fairness. Like I thought it'd be tough coming in because it was such a close knit setup last year, like but I wasn't the only one coming in as well. Like there was a lot of younger players brought in so they all made us feel welcome and after a while like it took us a few weeks to get going properly together but overall I was very happy with how it went. Like. Yeah. We had um, good success in maintaining our Division 3 status where we play against a lot of senior and intermediate teams. Like, How did you find those matches? I, I thought they were brilliant because well, the first two matches now we were a bit all, a bit all over the place. Like, We didn't really get our positions and but we progressed unbelievably I thought like throughout the league campaign Like, and we were one point short against Sligo like, um, in the league then. So I thought it was great. It's been Okay, so looking forward to Sunday? I can't wait, yes. Yeah, first Leinster final in a while, so uh, especially with all the guards I've put in a serious amount of work, so hopefully it'll pay off on Sunday. I think Wexford are in with every chance. Loud are a tough team to play against. Um, we Last year when I was involved with the panel, we played them on three occasions and we had to go to extra time on two of those. Um, you know, they're not going to be easy, but I think the guys have done great work um, in bringing a new panel of players together. Um, it's going to be a new experience for a lot of them. I believe there's eight new starters on the team for Sunday. And um, But my 
thoughts are with Wexford and a Wexford victory. Like these girls have played an awful lot of practice matches and they've played in a Division 3 of the National League where they would have faced senior teams and intermediate teams and they've put in performances against them and you know they've been learning all the time and it is a constant learning experience for them and Sunday will be no different. So all all roads then lead to O'Moore Park in Port Leash, 1 pm throwing? Yeah, one o'clock on Sunday. Um, you know, we're looking forward to a Port Leash, a fine stadium, and it's great that we're able to avail of the facilities the same as the men and, and we're looking forward to it.